¡Hola, amigo! ¡Buenos días! That means hello, my friends, and good day in Spanish. Stella, you look beautiful. That's a very pretty dress. Gracias. That means thank you. I've just come from Mexico. I was dancing at a Mexican fiesta with some of my friends when I heard you singing one of my favorite songs. We were singing a song my family always sings at birthday parties. Ooh, I just love birthday parties. Me too. There's music and dancing. And cake and presents. Stella, this is a special present I got for my birthday. Oh, what a lovely charm bracelet. You know, charms help us remember special times. And, well, uh, that reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear it? Oh, please. Yeah, please tell us. <laughs> Robert, would you put this on the table for me, please? Sure, Stella. Oh, here, Robert. I'll help you. Gracias, Barney. Oh, de nada. You're welcome. This is the story of a little girl and the special blanket her mother made just for her. It's called the Story Quilt because it was put together with special pieces of cloth. The little girl's mother made the quilt for her to keep her warm when the cold winter winds blew. First, she stitched a white snowflake taken from grandmother's soft flannel gown. Then she stitched a pretty pink flower taken from Big Sister's old skirt. The flower looked just like the ones growing in the garden. Next, she stitched a bright blue bird, taken from Father's worn work shirt. The bird looked just like the one that sang outside the little girl's window every morning. And she even stitched a brilliant yellow star, taken from the little girl's favorite dress, which was too small for her to wear now. And finally, the little girl's mother stitched a warm red heart, taken from her apron to remind the little girl how much she loved her. And the little girl loved the quilt. And she wrapped it tied around her when she was cold, and it kept her warm. Now, as the little girl grew tall, the quilt grew small. So she folded it neatly and stored it in her trunk in the attic. And as time passed, she forgot all about the quilt. And the little girl grew into a woman, married, and had a daughter of her own. Then one night, as the cold winter wind blew, her daughter asked her for a blanket to keep her warm. And the woman remembered the quilt. She went to the attic where the old trunk was stored and found the quilt. As she pulled it out, she saw the soft white snowflake, the pretty pink flower, the bright blue bird, the brilliant yellow star, and the warm red heart. The woman wrapped the quilt tightly around her daughter. And with it, she wrapped her in the love of her family. And the little girl loved the quilt. The end. <laughs> Oh, that was a wonderful story, Stella. Oh, it's my pleasure. You see how those different patches made a beautiful quilt? It's kind of like the way different people come together to make beautiful families. <laughs> oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. Got a friend who lives with his mom and dad, with his brother and sister too. They've got a cat and a dog and a pet bullfrog, and I'm really glad they do. <laughs> There's a girl I know who lives with her mom. Her dad lives far away. Although she sees her parents just one at a time, they both love her every day. Oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes. A boy who's new, he just moved in. He moved from Alabama. And the person who's the head of his family is a 
is loving dear old grandma. Oh, a family is people and a family is love. Let's love family. We come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. a great time being here with all of you. But I must get back to my fiesta. It's really quite a party. I hear them playing my song. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Adios.